Welcome back to the channel, Spartans. So I received a special mail call from NKOK Toys, and they sent over their latest edition, the Rock Hog. And this is great because I already reviewed the Gun Goose, the Warthog, and the Mud Hog, so I'm excited to add this to the arsenal. Let's open it up and see what it has to offer. All right, so the price for this is $44. You can find this on Amazon, as well as the rest of the vehicles that they've released. I will post all the links in the description below. You can see it has a high flex suspension. It has lights also. It has real time four x four, and we have a trigger remote. For those of you that don't know much about NKOK Toys, they specialize in all things RC. So they not only have the Halo license, but they also have Sonic the Hedgehog and SpongeBob SquarePants, as well as a bunch of other like types of vehicles like off-road terrain, street vehicles and things like that so i would like to say thank you again to nkok toys for sending over this rock hog to the channel and allowing me to unbox it and review it for y'all from an inbox perspective this looks nice and aggressive you can see those big shocks and we have these all-terrain tires which look nice and beefy and per usual we have master chief in the driver's seat and another spartan manning that turret Here she is, and she looks great. These shocks are awesome. There's a lot of play to those, so you can see that going over any types of rocks, for the most part, should be pretty easy. The tires are rubber, and they are hollow on the inside, so in conjunction with the shocks, that should make it a lot easier for this hog to get over some rocks. And not only that, but the actual height clearance. I mean, there's a significant amount of space between the bottom of the tire and, like, the bottom of the actual hog itself. So it does seem like they designed this really well. The only thing that I did notice is that the front bumper, there's, like, this motor and engine component here that probably helps drive the hog itself limits the amount of motion that these shocks can get i mean it's not a crazy amount and it should be fine honestly because there's still some great amount of movement especially from left to right but we'll find out when we test it outside the sculpting and the paint seems to be pretty traditional to our standard hogs with the exception of these beefed up shocks you can see we have some unsc logos there and then we have some gas cans on the backhand side and these are not removable here's a better look at chief in the driver's seat and he is shortened a little bit to be able to put his entire body in there um, but that is okay because I mean this is an RC car I mean you're not gonna really take these figures out and I do like that they fully sculpted him and they didn't just put like his torso only and made the rest of it like piece of plastic and that was it they did also add some extra sculpting to the dash and the center console of this hog and they didn't just make it one like plastic piece so that is great it really adds some more authenticity to this vehicle more of those details can be found here at the turret, and our Spartan has a nice burnt red color to him. The turret does have some articulation. You can move it upwards and downwards, and then we can also swivel it all the way around. So depending on how you're driving this, you can have you know this Spartan aiming and shooting down some unsuspecting Covenant. We'll give the underside a look, and I want to show you some cool things. So it looks like there's a ball joint here, and that will help the suspension to move all you know different directions as it's going over that unpredictable terrain. So that is a nice feature that these shocks can really you know move in almost any direction. Here, of course, is our battery compartment. It is held together by a single screw, which I already took out. We can open this up, and this is where our single battery goes. When it comes to the transmitter, it is a trigger-style remote, allowing you to drive forwards and backwards this easily and we can steer from left to right. Coincidentally, a steering wheel will allow us to do that, just like so. And then we have our on and off switch. Immediately, when you have the battery in there and the batteries in here, it will start blinking to pair pretty much right away. This battery compartment is also held together by a single screw, and they did provide us with two AA batteries. I do like when RC cars come with rechargeable batteries, so this is a single lithium ion battery, and the reason why I like that is, you know, it's a plug and play feature. Once you're done with it, you just plug it on in, recharge it up for a few hours, and then you're ready to rock. And I also don't like buying a bunch of batteries over and over and over again. So to charge it, it's pretty easy. It is just a basic USB cable. It has a red light when it is charging and it turns off when it's done charging. All right, day one test drive. So I went with some smaller rocks. I wanted to be a little conservative because I wasn't quite sure exactly how well this was gonna go over like rocks in general, but it did really well, especially this slow-mo scene. I had to add one of these in the very beginning. And I definitely wanted to slow it down so you can see exactly how the suspension and like the ball joints like were manipulated by the rocks themselves. From there, I went right into the big rocks. I wasn't playing around. I wanted to see what it was capable of doing and it handled these really well. Obviously, you're seeing my best scenes. I've toppled it over many times, but it was all about like strategy and approach and figuring out how to exactly get this thing over the rocks. And that's basically how you have to handle those trails in real life. 
but after going over those rocks multiple times, I mean, obviously I'm filming for a video, so there was a lot of takes that didn't make it, I noticed the battery started to get a little bit tired, and, uh, you know, it was losing some of that juice, so I wanted to casually go over some flatter terrain and see what it was still capable of doing. And what you've been seeing here is about 30 minutes of playtime, and it still had a good amount of energy. It could still go over the rocks, it was just obviously a little bit slower. So that was some of the easy stuff. So now what I want to do is build a bigger like boulder rock pile trail and see if it could tackle that. All right, this is day two of the test drive. So I found some more rocks, some bigger ones, added them to this like little makeshift trail and I wanted to see what it could do. I wanted to maximize it as much as possible. And what's great about this is it has a lot of speed and torque. So you have to like really like figure this out like you know like going through the rocks you have to like reverse a little bit and go forward and like turn from side to side and it's great it's cool it's challenging for sure but it's a lot of fun and what's cool about it too is because it is four-wheel drive it's able to grip onto those rocks a lot better and because of all this that's what makes this a fun RC okay before I give you my final thoughts here is some post test drive footage of what this hog looks like obviously the tires are super dirty and some of the body took some scrapes here and there but I mean that's to be expected as you're trying to go over these rocks and boulders uh, but everything is intact and still working perfectly so enjoy this wrap up with some b-roll footage okay my final thoughts on the rock hog the price point is $44 you can find it again on Amazon so this is now my fourth vehicle I've reviewed from NKOK toys and this one might be my favorite. I don't know, it's it's a tough decision compared to the Mud Hog. But this vehicle is great and it totally lives up to the name Rock Hog. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw it was able to go over those bigger rocks. What makes that possible is having that epic suspension with the ball joints, the 4x4 capabilities, and those rugged tires. So not only in the RC world, but in real life, there are vehicles called crawlers. So people will take their Jeeps, or their trucks and they go over like an obstacle course or a trail with a bunch of big boulders and rocks around it and the idea behind that is to climb the course without obviously flipping your vehicle over I mean this RC was perfect for that the vehicle itself has a lot of torque and that's what really helps you climb up those rocks I was also surprised how fast it was I mean it's not quite as fast as the mud hog but it still has a lot of speed which is awesome because you could take your time you know scaling some of those bigger boulders or if there's like a bunch of like tiny gravel or just dirt you can fly past that battery life to this was actually pretty good I'd say I got about 30 minutes out of it or so before I started to see it slow down from that time point I could still scale some rocks it just wasn't gonna go as fast through like a dirt patch so all in all I love this vehicle I mean it's a halo warthog as a crawler I mean that's so cool this might be my new favorite RC from NKOK toys I mean it's a toss-up between the mud hog and this rock hog but either way if you want an awesome crawler without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars and I think this is the perfect one for you but that's it everyone, thank you so much for watching this unboxing and test drive. I hope you enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun filming it. I would like to say thank you again to NKOK Toys for sending over their fourth installment to their RC line. As always, I will post the links in the description below for the rest of their Halo vehicles. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram to stay up to date when new things drop, like this rock hog. I also post toy photography and toy videos. If you did enjoy this unboxing and review, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that y'all are enjoying the content. Until then, we will see y'all in the next video.